Hello, my name is Carolina. This is Carolina's Closet, and today we will be doing some nice trip flips. Come on, let's do this. Um, this is actually a I already own it, let's flip it kind of situation rather than a trip flip, but you get the gist, the same vibe. And I also do believe that you know the best clothing you can get is the one you already own. So let's get the clothing we already own and make it so that we're going to wear it more because that's the case with the pieces that I have today to change. Um, before we go and flip my outfits, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Consider giving me a like and a subscribe because I'm just starting my channel and that would mean the world to me. Also, along the video, just comment below anything you think. Like anything that comes up to your mind, just type it down and I would like to listen to your thoughts, actually read your thoughts. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Hi, editing me here. I just want to say that I was going to flip this t-shirt that I have that had some vinyl writing on it and I was going to take that vinyl writing with some heat and I was going to cut it, like crop it and do some embroidery on it, but it didn't work out like at all. It was kind of really bad. So I just decided to not put that in. But the next clip, I'm segueing from that failed attempt to the next t-shirt that I'm flipping that is a pink t-shirt that says worry less, live more on it. And yeah, this is the context because the, cl the clip seems that like it, it's cut out of nowhere and it kind of is. So yeah, this is the context that you're in for. But in the meantime, let's talk about these, this pink t-shirt. So obviously because this one is not, um, is not a vinyl transfer, it's, I'm pretty sure this is um, screen printed on or something like this. It's definitely on the t-shirt, it's painted on. This is not coming out with like any kind of heat, removing anything like that. So the only option really that I have for these, if I want to like take this writing off and use it like in some other way, is to cut this. Which you might think is insane because this literally goes up to my chest and down here like it's going to be like a big hole. But what I want to do is cut it and go around it with um, a tie thing like a, a string and make it ruffle in a circle and I think this might work out but because I don't want to risk it I will just um, stitch around with like a simple like slip stitch like a hand stitch around like kind of the shape that I want and I'll ruffle it and see if it works out in my body if it doesn't like really flash people out or something and then I'll see what I do because if that happens I can just kind of put another piece of t-shirt underneath or something let's see like let's see what to do here but yeah that's that's my plan so let's do this okay so this is me doing the test to see if it will work out and you just kind of do this up and down stitch very loosely very like spaced out just to, just to like be able to see if the hole in the middle is not going to like flash anyone if it's not going to be too big that it doesn't cover your chest that's basically it i think this might work oh my god i didn't actually think it was gonna work so basically if i pull it all the thing is gonna be like here so it will cover my boobs which was my like I didn't think it was going to cover my boobs but it will it's gonna be like a little sexy a little risky but it might work so I'm going to cut it I'm cutting this I might regret it later but it will be cut so yeah let's cut it Okay, so then you just kind of trace out the part that you're cutting and cut it. Just be careful to not um, cut the both layers. Just cut the front layer that is the one that has the writing on it, like this. <laughs> and then what I'm doing here is I'm folding it twice. So I'm folding once, ironing it to make it easy, and then folding twice. And that will make the casing for the ribbon or the elastic to go through and ruffle up everything around so this is important and be sure to make it um, thick enough so that the ribbon that you have will go through it 
you know, it has a space for that. And here I'm hand stitching everything just because I felt like it and you can do it too. But if you have a sewing machine, just sew it in the sewing machine, it's fine. For this, this is like the close up of the sewing process. This is the back side of the t shirt, and I'm like going a few um, like millimeters away from the last time I you know, put the needle through, and then I'm going back on the right side, but just a little bit. So the stitching on the right side looks really minimal and like really small, but it holds up very well because we're like going back on the stitch. I hope you can like get what I'm saying here. And as always, like stitch very close to the edge so that you have like a good space for the casing, for like the elastic to go through. Yeah. And this is how it looks um yeah i did kind of make the stitching a little bit smaller as i went through and it's better to make it smaller than bigger so that's the thing and leave a hole open so that you can pass the last signature the like ribbon and this is how it looks in the back um this is the ribbon i'm using you don't have to use a matching color because it's going to be hidden but i just had it in pink so i'm using it and what i'm doing here is i'm getting a bobby pin you can use a safety pin whatever you have around but I usually just have a lot of safety um, bobby pins laying around and I'm putting it in the middle of the bobby pin like this and tying two knots very well tied up like this so it holds and then I'm pulling it through the casing so I'm using the like the part that is like this like the Oh, the edge that goes around because it's easier like that and I'm just passing it through the whole casing and you should not cut the ribbon before because then like you don't have to worry for like the end of the ribbon like you losing it just leave it open and cut it after passing it through yay this is the t-shirt with a big hole on it. You can use it like this, or you can use it in the back. Just cut like the neck a little bit and have a hole. You can use like a nice top. This is not what we're doing. We are, um, you know, ruffling it <laughs> like this. You don't have to ruffle with it in your body. You can just ruffle it with like, without it in your body, you just have it like on the table and ruffle it but i'm just putting it here just to show you guys how i did it and tie it and if you have a machine you can do a couple of stitches to hold them together but tying like a double knot should be fine and here i don't love the bottom bit how it hangs loose like that so the next bit that i'm doing is i'm putting some elastic in the bottom i'm using the hem that already exists in the top in the t-shirt and i'm cutting just a few stitches from the hem just to be able to put an elastic to it <coughs> i'm sorry like this and i will be putting the elastic through first you just have to measure the elastic on your waist like this um and see if like get the measurement that you need here i'm cutting the elastic in the middle just because it was way thicker than what i needed um but you if you cut if you have an elastic that has the like the appropriate sizing you don't have to do this and i'm using the same bobby pin um method you can use a safety pin whatever you have laying around and pull it through the whole hem a thing that is important because we're using elastic and already pre-measured elastic um hold the loose end on the t-shirt by like pinning it on this like before you start pulling it through otherwise you're gonna lose it and you're gonna have to like take it all off and put it all back so like make sure you hold it and here's me stitching the elastics together closing it you should do a lot of stitches here because they have to be really secure otherwise it will pop open i'm just doing a million stitches on the edge all the way around and this is a close-up on how it looks and then i'm just closing this little gap that i opened So this is the result. What do we think? I'm also sorry for the noise outside. I hope you cannot listen it, but like there's construction going around. And I've been waiting, but they won't stop. Um 
what do you guys think would you guys wear this i have been seeing like a lot of outfits like this on pinterest with this cut out like right here and i think it's very pretty and maybe you're not don't necessarily want to wear this out like this or you're like more into modesty you want to wear this to school um i will show you some ideas on how to style this so you don't just you know you're you like more covered up because you might want that um also i don't love this color so i'll be trying to like work around it because this is the color that i have it's a t-shirt that i have but yeah like depending on the color t-shirt you, you have um this is going to be an easier thing to dress up or down or a harder thing to dress up and down which is my case first of all the first thing you can do is just kind of put like a cami or like a nice lace top here just to like kind of cover it up then you can just um use it to layer um you can do um you know like shirts underneath i think that's pretty you know the button appear here a few other uh, shirt examples you can use a printed shirt let it like tie a knot in the front or let it loose i like that you can use a see-through kind of lacy shirt you can use a dress underneath i really love the dress one i feel like it really like elongated my figure i really really love this look um yeah or you can do a nice turtleneck i think that looks nice for like a winter fall more of a fall look um but yeah this is the result i hope you i haven't showed the back what do we think the back is definitely like a little but i don't mind it uh if you mind i mean because or just kind of yeah just let's not mind it um yeah what do we think about this one i like it um Okay, so my second DIY transformation trip flip situation is me transforming these pants in a blouse, actually. That's a bit nerve-wracking. I actually really like these pants and they have this nice, really, really nice print. I thrifted them when I lived in London and I think they were like five pounds. And they're like, I think Miss Selfridge's petite. I am not petite. But this um, really did fit me for a while. Um, but I did gain a little bit of quarantine weight and it always was a little bit too tight on me. Um, so, you know, I might as well just kind of transform it in a blouse that I probably, probably will use more. Um, it barely closes in the back and I think I need to like make something out of it because yeah, I just feel like I need to. So the plan for me is to first like cut the crotch bit like the people are doing with, you know like people on TikTok are doing with like tights and just like cutting them up and just like cutting the crotch, putting their heads through and then just like cutting them up like this is sur basic, sur basics, so oh my god, so basics, so basics, so basics, so Okay, that trend. <laughs> um, and I don't really like that for myself. I love it in other people, but I feel like that kind of vibe is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut the crotch, try it on, and then see what I want to do from that there. Okay, so for this, we are seam reaping the crotch area just enough so that like our head goes through it. And we can test out in our body, see how much we want to cut from the shirt the see this is the hole that i did cut like seam rip and this is me like testing it out and it fits me very well i did seam rip like a little bit on the other way just so it would do like that v-shaped neck bit and this is me closing it and i'm surprised that it does fit me very well see shocked um yeah i'm very happy with this it does feel very comfortable <laughs> Um, so this is surprising. Okay, so this is surprisingly good. Um, I did think I was going to have to like 
shuffle it around a little bit, a little bit more but honestly I can just hem the neck bit and it will be fine and it's actually comfortable and the only reason this is not uncomfortable is because it's a wide leg and a very kind of flimsy fabric because if it was like a very slim like pant like if, it, if they were like a slimmer it would be like bad here it would like be very be very uncomfortable but it's not I'm not sure I'm thinking I'm thinking about cutting like just kind of measuring it in myself like this and like cutting a chunk around and like re-sewing it but I actually don't think I'm gonna do that because I think it's too much work and it's looking decent like this and I feel like if I try cutting it like just kind of to make a better look here around the shoulders I will fuck it up so I'm probably gonna do that the only thing that I'm doing now is hemming the neck and I will um, probably I'm thinking about it but I'm quite sure that I will put on some elastic elastic um, around the cuffs like this so it's going to look like this I think that's that's gonna be better and I like this look and it's already hemmed here so that's fine um, yeah so I'll just show you that in a minute okay so now I am cutting in a diagonal the neck bit just so I don't have this extra fabric laying around when I hem the neck and this is me hemming the neck um, and it you cannot tell but I'm just kind of folding it twice yeah that's it and then I'm sewing it just good old sewing machine straight stitch all the way around okay and this is me winding the bobbin by hand with the elastic thread and that's for the cuff that i want to do so i'm just winding it by hand because um if i don't do that it doesn't work out because if you um do this with the machine it stretches the thread and it doesn't work so you have to do this by hand and then when you're going to sew it you have to change the settings of your machine to a like wider stitch so that it works out and this is just me sewing it just a straight line i marked it straight around and i'm doing it a bunch of times also this is me doing with, with an elastic just cut the exact amount that you need and pull it as you stitch if you don't have the other thread and this is me taking a bit of the leg like taking i'm just sewing this and i'm then i cut this because it was too big but I will explain this in the next clip. This is just what I did. I did this stitch and I went back and forth when I got to the elastic like this because I needed to secure it. And then I cut this, this extra fabric because it was too wide and um, it wasn't as snug as I wanted. Yay! okay um i actually quite like it i just need to like um tie this and and cut them off i actually quite like it but like if you could tell by the, the recap i did have to cut a chunk of the side of the pants because it was too big to like fit snugly against my like wrists because it's too big and like what the elastic does is like it shrinks it but it usually just kind of shrinks it in half like the the sizing and this was like much much too bigger like this was like way too like big to f stay snugly against my arm so it was like very kind of floppy and not snug here so i did cut a little bit of the size off and just kept the the elastic but if i had noticed i was going to do that um prior which could have done like i could have done that by just measuring and thinking to myself oh this is way too big for that to work i would have not done this at all and just kind of left it um open in the way that it was before because i actually quite like that but now that i did this i don't hate it i like it this one looks better because i did them all with elastic and this one i tried out 
like a, a normal elastic just like pulled like that I have it in video because I wanted to make it snugger is it snugger is that, a, is that a, I think it is is that a word um but yeah this is it I love it I just have to cut this off but I did finish the, the thing here and yeah now okay so this is me showing off the one outfit that i built with this um blouse it's kind of like a monochrome-ish look with the skirt the turtleneck the tights and the shoes roughly around the same color and the blouse being the pop of color to show off the look i very much love this outfit i want to wear it out every day but i can't because it's hot here right now but yeah i love it very much and this is it for the video i hope you like it and i'll leave you with the outro bye um there we go a couple of flips i hope you like them i hope you like my little um styling part um i hope you find that useful i actually like doing that but it did take me a good chunk of this day um so i hope you guys liked it if you did and especially if you made it all the way here thank you very much by the way consider giving me a like a subscribe comment below and anything you think about like if you like the trip flips if you didn't if you would do them if you would wear them comment below anything um that comes up to your mind after finishing this video and yeah thank you very much for watching here are my socials and thank you very much see you in the next one in a few days Bye-bye.